Alrighty guys, it's been a while since I've done a video. I don't think I showed you guys the new truck that we have. You know, uh, you guys saw the Kodiak. That was obviously in inefficient. But I got a new truck, it's a Dodge Ram 5500. Um, with the flatbed on it. This we, that we put the tank on, it's a bit more efficient, looks a bit more professional for jobs. And uh, that's it, I know I haven't been on uh, online making many videos lately. It is winter time in New York. It's about 32 degrees out. Overnight's around 20. So I figured let me do a quick video on what we do to keep our trucks going in the morning and not freezing the whole nine on a uh, not so in, not so efficient basis. Um, and what I mean by that is like, you know, we are a very small business with low capital. Uh, we don't have like, you know, a big uh, facility to leave our trucks in that are warm and stuff at night. We leave it actually at a marina. So you do get a lot of wind and stuff from the water. I mean, uh, yeah, wind and stuff from the river. Um, so what we do is we actually drain the truck every night. We drain, uh, we put, turn the pump on, the water pump on the truck. Um, once the whole water's drained out and uh, let the water get out of the line and stuff so we can use the hose just in case we need it and if the toilet's really dirty. Um, that's it, we use no salt, no brine yet. We do have, uh, we are gonna start getting a five gallon paint bucket and filling it out with salt. Supposedly, well, another company in the area does it. They just throw some salt inside their toilets after servicing them and it helps. Obviously, if you get into the teens, it's not gonna do much, but we're doing our best, and uh, here's a video of the truck. Ooh, baby. So we have the 300 gallon tank on it. And every morning, we fill it up. Fortunately, we do have to pay for water here. It's not part of our rent policy. Um, yeah, the water goes in there. It's that clear pipe. I don't know if you can see the video, but getting filled up the waste the whole nine so at the end of the day I'll flick the switch once it drains out of here I'll flick the switch and it turns on the water pump that we use for the hose gets all the water out of the system so in the morning when I do fill up the driver or me or my partner isn't uh you know stuck with a frozen line so they can't use the hose and then we'll just throw the hose in, you know inside but just like a little bit of a setup, we do have our sprays and stuff. We leave our sprays. Actually, no, I already put them in here. They're inside the bucket. You know, we had our toilet paper, hand sanitizer, some rags, you know, nothing really special. Got our cleaner spray in here just in case we need to fill up a bottle. But that's really about it, guys. There's not much that's changed. It's winter time, so there's a lot of construction that has slowed down a bit. Um, but units are going out, you know, you're the 2024 now. So a lot of units are, you know, a lot of jobs are starting to start up and stuff. You know, like I said, our main focus is construction. So we are focused on a lot of construction sites, you know, stuff like that, gas stations and stuff. Running on job sites still. Um, there's a different angle of the truck with the sticker on it. We are going to get it wrapped up, and wrapped up in spring. Be cool. Looks way more professional than uh, the Kodiak. You know, the Kodiak was badass. You, know, you guys remember that truck? Um, I think. I don't know. So much going on in my brain. <sighs> it's all screwed up. <laughs> Trying to get this business going. I can't remember if we're using the trailer that you guys saw or the Kodiak. But uh, that's it. Nothing, nothing else, you know. I do have to say there is a lot of psychological issues that I was dealing with. Uh, so, like just in this business alone um, you know when you go out in spring and summer and you have 20 potties going out every week every every month new contracts and then spring I mean uh, winter comes and you know then you have toilets coming off the job sites one after another after another you know going from 146 units down to 100 and I think six we have out right now so we have around like 30 plus sitting you fuck with your head it can make you think that you're not doing good in business you know that you're you're messing up meanwhile you're, you know you're giving 100 percent in service you know you're you're doing the best you can you know customer service servicing the toilets you know driver efficiency trying to 
you know, not cut costs, but save as much money as well as putting money into, you know, the business go to get it, keep, to keep it going. Ah, but that's, um, that's a bit it. Clearly, I haven't had coffee yet, so I'm stuttering on my words. So I'm going to go have a nice warm cup of joe. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a great 2024. Let's get rocking. I know there are a couple people who just started a business, a quarter body business, that I've been in contact with, which is awesome. So glad to hear people are uh, getting into this niche, and I hope you guys keep running it up. And that's it. I'm out. Have a great week.